Let's go over the operations of your ground control travel trailer electrical leveling system. Let's get started. So customer operations has four stages, which is exactly like your camping trip. And those are unhitching the unit is stage one. Stage two is auto leveling the unit so you can enjoy that camping trip. But once your camping trip is done, stage three is rehitching the unit to the tow vehicle. And then finally retracting all those jacks so you can drive down the road safely. So that first stage is unhitching. We're gonna pull that vehicle onto that perfect camp spot Make sure the train is somewhat level. Then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have shore power plugged in, and that's going to give electricity to the unit. And finally, you're gonna make sure that your battery has a full charge on it. Now, these jacks are simulating our tow vehicle. So let's go get this unit unhitched. Now you have a couple different options when it comes to unhitching your tow vehicle from your camper. And those are your tongue jack or your auto level control touchpad. But we're gonna focus here on the tongue jack. So you have two toggles on the tongue jack that operate it. First one here is just a light and that'll give you the ability to unhitch and hitch at nighttime. Um, but the other one is your retract extend button. So on that, you can extend the, the tongue jack manually just by selecting that and holding it until the tongue jack drives down to the ground and pushes it off your, your tow vehicle. Or you also have an auto extend feature that you can select by pushing the extend button and listening for the motor engagement once, twice, and then press and hold that for five seconds. And once that's past your five seconds, that'll actually go into an auto extend feature and that'll automatically drive that leg down to the ground and push it off your tow vehicle. Now at the end of this, you might have to press the extend button a little bit to get it actually off the hitch. Now for the last thing, I selected that. While it's in sequence, if you realize you forgot something or you have to, to stop that feature, you can select the auto or retract button and it'll actually abort the sequence. Now that we understand the tongue jack, let's go over to the auto level control pad and actually lift this off our tow vehicle. So here we have the auto level control touch pad and we're gonna need to turn this on and we do that by selecting both arrows at the same time until the green LED illuminates and it's a steady green. Now, we're going to extend that tongue jack down to the ground and lift it up off the tow vehicle. So we do that by selecting the up arrow and holding it. And that's going to actually extend the tongue jack down. Now, the auto level control touchpad doesn't have the auto extend feature built in like the tongue jack does. So you're gonna have to hold it. Now that the coupler is lifted off the tow vehicle, we can remove the tow vehicle and park it at a safe distance. Next, we're gonna to go to stage two, which is your auto level sequence. But before we do that, I wanna point out that before you actually select the auto level button, you're gonna want the front of the coach to be just above level. This is going to record in the system when you select the auto level button. So when you go to the hitch height selection in the third stage, it's gonna actually return to that exact position so you can hook up your tow vehicle. Now, as you can see, our coach here is actually above level. So let's go ahead and initiate that sequence.
Now that we're level, let's go ahead and enjoy that camping trip. Now it's time to leave, so let's pack up and go to stage three, which is rehitching. Let's head over to the auto level control pad. Now before you bring your tow vehicle back to the camper, let's go ahead and select hitch height. So you might have to turn it back on by hitting the up and down arrow until the green LED is back lit. Now select hitch height. Now we're going to go ahead and back that tow vehicle underneath your coupler and manually retract this down until you get a good seat on that coupler. Now we have our jack stands here, so when it's on the jack stands, that's going to simulate the tow vehicle. Okay, now we're going into stage four, and that is retracting the tongue jack all the way up. Now that we have all the jacks fully retracted, we can drive down the road safely and get home. <laughs> 